Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone beyond. I wish everybody. I'm fantastic. I am empty in Boise. I'm over here at Therma King waiting for them to move that their trailer so I can get in there and get a wash out. And uh and then I can go park this truck and sit for three days. Unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get a motel room. Which really sucks. See, I can sit in this truck for three freaking days doing nothing. It sucks. I'd rather be in a motel room. He's there. I got Wi Fi. <laughs> so, as soon as they move that there trailer, we'll get washed out. That's all I'm doing. Now the boss man says the next time he buys a truck for me, it's going to be another Peterbilt from Walmart. But it's going to be the 387 model, which is like that black one right there. Uh, or that blue one that just drove by. <laughs> Which looks a lot like this one. The only real difference um, is that it's a studio. Instead of a mid-roof like I got here. Which means I have more room. Uh, it has different mirror bracket and different mirrors. different windshield. It has a one-piece windshield instead of just two, two-piece. So, yeah. I kind of like the two-piece mirror or window windshield because they're flat. They're easy to find if you, if you break one. And if you break, you know, crack one side, you don't have to fix one side, you ain't got to replace the whole thing. Whereas it's one-piece, you got to take the whole thing out and it's curved. So they're harder to find. But they're nicer trucks. Nicer interior. Uh, got more room. Right there, the green one right there, that's a Kenworth. It's the same thing as the 387. But it's the Kenworth model. Uh, six. Is that the 680 or? I forget what they call that one. The Kenworth side of it. Kenworth and Peterbilt are both pack car. Uh, so they're a lot alike. Um, yeah. That's what he says he's going to get me next time. What you said, I think you said in a year or so. This truck here is getting too many miles on it, getting time to trade it in. Or sell it and get another one. So, yeah. We're already up to 781,621 miles. Spinning around the block, time of three. Ever since I've had it, it's been around the block. <laughs> I dropped it in. Um, yeah, we're over three, four of those million miles. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing for the next three days, just hanging out. Well, I assume I am. He hasn't got the butter load yet for me, so he says we'll have one, but. He hasn't got it yet. We're waiting. So I assume if I get a butter load, I'll, I'll load it Thursday. 
And uh, if we don't get a better load, then there ain't no telling. I don't know what I'll end up with. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not onions. No onions. Hopefully not potatoes. The only reason is because I have to get a walk out after potatoes. Which means I'll have to go all the way up to Milford after I get empty in Long Island. That's a long way. With these butter loads, I don't have to get a wash out. I can just go in there and blow it out. Blow out the garbage. And, uh, there ain't no smell or anything. With potatoes, I'll have to, they're dirty. They make a mess, so I'll have to go get a wash out. Let's hope for butter. We'll probably get butter. Oh. I can't hear him move that trailer. I'm really not in that big a hurry, but I'd like to get this done and go bark. And go get breakfast and I'm hungry. And I ain't got no food in my truck already. Well, I got some turkey left, but that's it. I've already ate half the turkey. <laughs> I got a whole turkey to myself, but I don't eat half of it. It's good. It's yummy. Of course, I ate it over, what, two days? Half of it over two days? Three days? Something like that. Have to wait your turn, Mr. McKinney. Anyway, I'll catch up with you folks later. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Be safe. Bye.